where are all the technical players in our country? I mean, when I say technical, where, where are the Messis, the Ronaldinhos, the Ronaldos, the Zetlans? Uh, wh- where are they? I'm here to tell you they exist in this country. They're here. They're definitely here. But for whatever reason, because of U.S. soccer's system and the way we run things in this country with this whole club mentality, which acronym I'm going to be part of, um, I play for ECNL, I play for DA, I play for MLS Next, all this crap. That Who cares? The o- only thing I care about is how come we can't get one club in this forsaken country of ours to produce one Messi? It's not possible, huh? It's not possible. I'm telling you they exist right now. We have thousands of them. Thousands in this country. Guaranteed. But what do we have? We have all these onlookers, all these coaches. They dribble too much. Too small. That's how they talk. These are our high-paid uh, coaches in our country. They don't know. They, they Their head's always down. They just dribbled through seven players. Their head's all down. They can't see that. They can't see the passing game. They can't pass. That's how we talk in this country. That's, that's, that's who we promote. We promote players that fit into a system in youth soccer. Not college, not professional. That, that's what you do at that level. But youth soccer, that's where we're at because we have to win this weekend. It's, it's in, insanity. It's absolute, absolutely a complete fraud of what we're doing in this country. Time and time again, you'll see these players when they're, they're seven, eight, nine years old. They, they're unbelievable. And so many kids I've seen, I've coached. I've coached. And then when I would move on, and when I have these kids that can actually dribble six, seven players, score goals repeatedly, put put the ball through players' legs, meg players on purpose, and just keep doing what they're doing, it, it, it's amazing. And what happens? The parents get involved. Coaches recruit these players, and they're like, hey, we have a college uh, identification program. Ooh, hey, w- you know, we have this fancy room we, where we, uh, we have meetings, and we'll have a team psychologist talk to your players. Ooh, uh, uh, we're going there. And what do they do to those players? What do they do? They tell them to stop dribbling, play the system, and everything you, you know, the reason we were so excited about you as a player, we're taking that away. And we're not letting you do that ever again. Why? If we had a different model in U.S. soccer, stop focusing on uh, creating these ultimate teams versus the ultimate player. If we focus more on the individual, we would produce so many more players. But we don't. Now I'm going to show you a video um, uh, of me dribbling the entire field and scoring a goal. Why? Why? Because I didn't have coaches growing up, a licensed coaches, all this crap telling me not to do it. I just did it because that's what I did. But if I did, I would have never done this at the professional level. So this is USL back in the day. Uh, I get, oh, it's a low level, whatever. Just watch. So here, here's, um, here's uh, me. So that's indoor goal. Anyway, it's going to transition to outdoor. Here I am I'm playing for the Suarez. We're in California playing somebody. I forget. So there I am. Mega player combined with uh, a player. And I'm like, oh, there's 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 four, three of them and a keeper. So four of them, just me. I'm going to go the full field and score because that's what I wanted to do. How How can I possibly do that? And get away with it. Unless I've done it a hundred thousand times in youth soccer. That's what I did. I got the ball. I don't care where I was. I was going to try to score right away. That's what Messi does. That's what uh, Ronaldo did. That's what Zetlan did. That's that mentality. Now, I wasn't technical. I wasn't in a culture of 
playing against players, learning technique. I didn't have that. I was fast and athletic. I that's I was driven to go go forward and and try to do great things. And not once what was I can't remember ever having a coach tell me you can't do that. I did this. I I did this in college repeatedly. 60 70 yard runs with the ball all by myself. I just went. I knew I was faster than everybody. I played to my strengths and I just went it just made sense to me. Get the ball um the goal is to beat your opposition by scoring more goals. Well, I can score right now. I was always thinking that way. I didn't. I didn't have. I. W- I didn't grow in, in a culture of, of learning all the technical stuff that would have really helped me uh, advance in the game. But I advanced in in America. But not once did I have a coach tell me you can't do this, you can't do that. Ever. I remember there's one game. I was playing for Cisco, uh, U16, and I missed 10 breakaways. And they were counting counting how many breakaways I missed. This team just kept doing this weird offside trap. I had 10 breakaways. I missed them all. I scored the 11th one. We won 1-0. You have to learn through failure. You imagine today if if a kid missed five breakaways in a row. What would happen to that kid? You'd get yelled at, pull, the, pull them off, and... Uh, Explain to them, uh, you know, you know, you need to uh, wait for help or whatever. You know, just do BS. Not allowing kids to process information, go through uh, through their own failure, so they are able to do it at the next level. You have to go through failure. But in in this country, with these paid coaches, and these paid coaches, uh, I'm gonna tell all my buddies, all you paid coaches, a lot of you guys are cowards, cowards. You know, you you can't re- you can't really take players. You can't really develop players because you're too too busy taking players that that have to pay pay into the club so you can get a paycheck and all that. Uh, we we just talk too much. We ruin the game. We ruin it, and it needs to stop. It absolutely needs to stop. So we have these players. They exist, a lot of them, but they go through the process of advancement. And they're playing for an acronym. And then they play system. And then they can never dribble again. They can't take risk. Because they have to play they have to play a system. And and all these coaches that, you know, and the the coach education programs, yeah, they they sound amazing. It's good to know. But for you, soccer, we need to know something uh about identification. We we need to change our whole system. Because what we uh, this coaching education program, it has us by the balls, not the soccer balls, the balls. Speaking of balls, reporting from the Sun, football low blow. Preston defender Darnell Fisher faces FA probe after twice grabbing Sheffield Wednesday's Callum Patterson by the balls. Yeah, uh, this has gone viral, and this is what happens in soccer. Landon Donovan says. There's no place for this in football. Imagine Landon Donovan managing this team. He he was he grabbed him by the balls. Let's get off the field immediately because that's what we that's how we roll. So if you're on my YouTube channel, go YouTube, or if you're not, go to youtube.com forward slash Coach Cameron Soccer, and you can see all the beautiful uh, pictures of this poor poor uh, Patterson getting his uh, bell rung, wrong bell, looking to get. Touch tight on Patterson in a corner. The 26-year-old copped the feel of the Scotsman's private parts. <sighs> Former Cardiff Ford Patterson looked incredibly confused as to what happened and looked to see if anyone had witnessed the grope. Because if Lennon witnessed it, he would uh, he would have stormed off. There's no place for this in football. He, he grabbed by the balls. He grabbed by the balls. There's no place for the football. Ricky. Ricky Shantz. I, I can't believe you don't understand. We, we There's no place for this in football. Yeah, it is disgusting. But it happens. And that's what it, that just, it is what it is. However, fans fumed on social media citing the severity of Fisher's actions. Uh, here's a great photo of the, one of the greatest squeezes of all times. Now that's painful. That That is soccer. The amount of things that happen in the game to gain an advantage, shoot. The things that you don't know that's happened in soccer. 
with, before social media. The things that you don't know in youth soccer, what's happening there is staggering. If we can produce skateboarders that can do insane things, BMXers, uh, just the X Games, I mean, they're doing triple flips. They're advancing what they're doing all the time. Why? Because there's not coaches overseeing everything that they do. Every great success story, amazing success story, was because the will of the individual decided to avoid the norm and decided to become great. Well, it's very difficult in this country when you have all these parents gossiping, uh, happening repeatedly about uh, that 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 player keeps dribbling too much. Their heads always. I'm mean, from the coaching to the play. I mean, it's just too much to beat. That's why we need less coaches. We need less organized leagues, less acronyms, and more focus on individual development. And I don't see how we can get out of this mess that we're in until that happens. So, anyways, those are my thoughts today. Peace. Protect your balls.